All right, so I decided to do my video of invention on the turbojet engine. Um, the turbojet engine is the engine that we see on all modern aircrafts, whether it be from uh, military or private jets. Um, due to the fact that aircraft structures and avionics change so frequently, um, the creation of the turbojet engine, um, and it's something that we still use, is something of marvel. Um, Frank Whittle uh, from the United Kingdom was the first person to register his, the patent for the turbojet engine uh, back in the 1930s. Uh, independently, um, Von Ohain was the first person um, He's from Germany, was the first person to implement this into a operational aircraft. Um, his aircraft was able to fly and be the first one to fly back in 1931, where Frank Whittles wasn't able to fly until 1941. Um, they were independently inventing this at the same time when actually they didn't even know each other were working on it. Um, the significance of this invention is incredible and many people don't really understand why uh, we just hop on an airplane and go wherever we want or we see air different airplanes flying around and um, this has a huge factor um, and is the reason why airplanes are the way that they are today. Um, before we had these engines, the aircraft were essentially very lightweight um, and they weren't able to produce much thrust. Um, um, aircrafts were a lot slower and had many problems. The maintenance on the aircrafts were extreme um, and took a lot of manpower. Um, in today's world, uh, the significance of these are turbojet engines uh, have a high power to weight ratio um, compared to uh, turboprop engines where uh, they're heavy, they don't pr produce as much thrust, and um, they're actually very slow. <laughs> um, the turbojet engine is much simpler to work on and it's very versatile. Um, being able to run on different fuel types and um, which is great if we ever find ourselves in an area where a specific fuel is not available. Um, we look at modern aircraft today and the weight, the hundreds of thousands of pounds and we think how is this possible. Um, these two men made it possible in today's world where people are traveling around the world safely, simply, and fastly. Uh, products are getting shipped in a few days from across the world. Um, and, and all of this is in a very safe and controlled manner. Um, the turbojet today is the most used engine in the modern aircraft world. Um, like I said, anywhere from military planes or to private jets or shipping companies um, the majority of them use these uh, turbojet engines. Um, they are still in service today. There have been tweaks and changes over the years, but um, it is still um, the most popular engine to be used today. Um, the turbojet engine has been upgraded um, fairly often with different modifications. Um, the most... Um, important one that we see today is fuel efficiency. Um, we're able to use uh, a minimal amount of fuel for even more thrust and power than what we were able to do before. Um, the power to, rate, power to weight ratio has increased. As aircrafts are getting lighter, they're also getting faster and more powerful. Although the turbojet engine has not changed much since the creation, um, simple improvements have made it essentially the king of all engines that are used today.